The example I'm using for this video is my own song, Supernova Interlude. Just a little plug. <laughs> Before we begin, I want to show you what the vocals sound like without any effects. So this is basically it. I double track the vocals as well, which is essentially recording the same melodic line twice. Usually that helps make the vocals sound much fuller, gives it a lot more depth. But again, this is what the vocals sound like. You spent your years just trying to chase it. So not bad, but it obviously lacks the touch that's going to make it sound like Pink Floyd. So first thing I did over here, obviously this didn't exist in the 70s, but if you do it lightly, it doesn't really mess with the authenticity of the sound. I just put a little bit of auto-tune. Nothing too crazy, just something to remove any little mistakes that might appear uh, throughout the song. So the next thing I added was a fruity multi-brand, multi-brand, multi-band compressor. And what's good about the multi-band compressor is it allows you to target three different frequency ranges and compress those in different ways. So obviously the low band, the mid band, the high band. Essentially what I did over here, you can see all of these had a threshold of negative 18 decibels. All of these had a ratio of two to one. Attacks are also identical or almost identical with 20.1 to 20.6 releases of around 109 milliseconds. And the gains I sort of tweaked it depending on how I felt it came across in the mix so the next thing i added was an equalization essentially all i did was slightly reduce the sub bass rumble um at the very end of the mix added the cue at around 40 hertz and essentially had the 24 decibel proactive uh, setting placed keep in mind i'm using the fab filter pro q3 plugin which in my opinion is the best EQ that I've tried. It's, it really does have so much variety to it, it's insane. Besides reducing the subs, I added two over here essentially to remove slightly annoying frequencies in the mix. So essentially the way this would work, you'd add a little dot over here, make the Q as small as possible. So that is the opposite of small. So something like this. And while the song plays, you would sweep around the frequency spectrum to find an annoying resonance that you want to remove. So. So something like that, you can hear the resonance, it sounds very ugly. So in that instance, I would drop it to about in, in between negative three to negative six decibels. Usually negative three is, is, is enough. It helps remove the resonance in your recording. And the last thing I did was over here, I added one more, I added a high shelf boosted it about three decibels as well. So once that's done, uh, I added a de-esser, again from FabFilter, the Pro DS, and I used the male wideband preset. I tweaked it around a little bit, but this essentially helps reduce the tss sound, which could be very annoying in the mix and includes a lot of really harsh treble frequencies that we want to reduce. Then I added a form of saturation to give the vocals more Clarity and this is a plugin called fresh air. I really really like it if you guys are annoyed with Soundgeyser, I would recommend switching to this it does what Soundgeyser does but way better and as you can see I added 29% with the mid-air configuration and 36 for the higher. By the way, very key thing you should know. Obviously, for the purposes of the tutorial, I am doing this a cappella in order to have you guys hear everything as clearly as possible. But when you are mixing, please do not mix your vocals a cappella. Do it while hearing the either beat or instrumental to have a reference of how loud it is in the mix. Because for instance, that is literally the reason you would want a compressor or at least to mess around with the makeup gain of the compressor in order to level the vocal to a suitable place in the mix. So it doesn't sound buried or like muffled or quieter than the instrument. So even though I'm doing this for the sake of the tutorial, Please don't do this in any other circumstance. Now it comes down to the spatial effects. So the first one I added was a delay. 
and this comes from Valhalla delay. But I have the delay at basically quarters, spread at 20 milliseconds. The mix is only a 28%, um, feedback 70. You can basically copy these settings. Another very important thing that I forgot to mention, but I added an EQ on the delay. So essentially anything under 7,000 or in this case, maybe 5,000 Hertz gets cut, which is better because or else you would be adding a delay in the really harsh and the higher parts of your vocals, which just don't really sound that good. I added a low cut as well at around 700, 800 Hertz. Finally, I added a Valhalla vintage verb. This one's kind of a funnier one. So this is like essentially emulating a chamber reverb but even though it's emulating a much older type of reverb i had it be essentially like the most modern rendition uh with like the brighter and clean modulation settings and whatnot i added a decay of two seconds a mix of 40 percent if you liked how this effect sounded you could download it by clicking the first link in the description and if this tutorial has been helpful please consider leaving a like subscribing and commenting what other tutorials you would want me to do. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. <laughs>